Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Willis. I have the great pleasure of presenting to you guys the Start With Hello rollout presentation. This is our rollout week for Start With Hello uh, throughout the district. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what Start With Hello is, what our school is going to be doing, and how we're going to be keeping the message of Start With Hello uh, going throughout the year. So start with the low. The basic gist is we're going to be learning how to create a closer and more connected, more inclusive classroom, school, and community. Uh, that's the basic gist to start with the low, but we're going to get into um, more of the nitty gritty. I want you to think of a time that you might have felt one of these, these uh, feelings here, lonely, passed over, excluded, invisible, isolated, shut off, ignored. They're not good feelings, but they're feelings that everyone experiences from time to time. Now imagine you felt like this for days or even weeks. Um, unfortunately, there are people that feel this way um, in every community and um, they feel isolated. And it can lead to things like bullying, violence, depression. It may also lead to pulling away from friends, struggling with learning. Um, they may get sick. They may even feel like hurting themselves or someone else. So in order to make a change, we need you. We need you um, because we, you're the only one in our school that can make this change. Each person in our, in our school has the responsibility and the ability to make a huge change in someone else's life. It just takes three steps. One, see someone alone. Two, reach out and help. And three, start with hello. We're gonna talk about each one of these in a little more detail. The first one is see someone alone. How do you know when someone is alone? How do you know when someone is isolated? Isolated basically means they're alone, right? These are some signs you might look for. They prefer to be alone. They keep to themselves. They're anxious or uncomfortable around other people. They, they're purposely left out by others. They seem removed. Where can isolation be found? Where can social isolation be found? It can be found anywhere. In the classroom, social media, on the bus, the lunchroom, events, sports teams. So it's important to understand that people can feel alone even when they're surrounded by pe other people. Social isolation means that even though you're around other people, you still feel isolated from them. So what can we do? First thing we can do is reach out. So this can be one of the hardest parts for people when it comes to start with hello in our three steps. Um, they don't know how to reach out, right? They want to help someone, but they're not sure how and they don't want to feel awkward. Um, they're not sure that the other person really wants them to talk, talk to them, right? And they think that maybe they'll seem strange or something while just walking up to a, a random person. So I want you to take a moment to think about what reasons might make it hard for people to reach out. I can see one right there on the screen. I'll give you a second. So there is good news when it comes to reaching out because we have tips and different practices and activities you can use um, and that we'll be doing in our school to help you reach out. So these are some, some ideas of what you can do um, as an individual when you're reaching out. First is sit with someone who, feel, who may feel alone. Reach out on social media if you're on social media. Um, invite someone to join you. Maybe you invite someone to your house um, that you're friends with. Maybe you um, look for someone who's alone and um, ask them to come play with you during recess. Give a simple gesture to someone like a high five, a smile. Leave a handwritten note. And that's something we're actually going to talk a little bit more about later. Actually, on the next slide. These are some things we're doing this, this uh, year and this rollout week for Start With Hello to um, help start that inclusive feeling in our school. So the first one we did 
was picture this. Um, you saw Miss Janice in the middle of the campus this, uh, this morning uh, with her sign and um, she was taking pictures of different students with the sign. And that's something we're gonna do throughout the week. So if you missed Jan Miss Janice, you missed Miss Janice, you can go look for her where she normally stands over by the media center and get your picture taken tomorrow morning. As soon as you get on campus, obviously go straight to your uh, classroom afterwards. Um, but also we're gonna have teachers today and throughout the week um, taking pictures of you guys, um, giving each other different gestures like high fives and different greetings. Um, so that's picture this. Um, also we have Dolphin Pride, that's tomorrow when we have our ribbon ceremony ribbon cutting ceremony. So um, if you have a Switlick shirt, great, wear that tomorrow as sort of like your dolphin pride. If not, wear like some shade of blue. So blue will be the color for tomorrow. Another um, day, another event we're kind of planning for this week is Wednesday we'll be wearing green. So if you have something green, um, wear it. It could be a, just something you put around your arm. So if you don't have anything, get a green piece of paper and um, tape a little ribbon around your arm, but wear a green shirt if you have one, um, green socks, whatever you got. Um, on Thursday, we're doing send a note, say hello. Um, so this one, um, you'll have little uh, pieces of paper that you can um, you can write notes onto your friends, like a positive note, and during the day, just drop it off on their, on their desk. And um, it's a great way to, to cheer somebody up, right? And then the last one on Friday will be a class greeting. So each class will have a greeting that they can use to greet other, other classes in the hallway. Um, so something real simple, but something that you can do when you're walking around and you see another class. All right. So the last step is start with the low. And um, so these are some ideas on how you can start these conversations. Because the question is, well, how do I do it, right? Well, what do I say? Well, we've got some icebreakers for you. We've got some ideas on things that you can use to start conversations. Here's a little um, interesting uh, bit of information. A uh, study showed that, uh, found that eight out of 10 people are hesitant to start a conversation, but eight out of 10 people are happy that they did start the conversation. So even though it seems scary, you're gonna, it's gonna be worth it in the end, right? to start that conversation with, even with someone you might not know. All right, so these are our icebreakers. Number one is the five W's. So this is using who, what, when, where, and why, and coming up with a question for each one, right? Like, who are you? What's your nickname? What are your favorite things to do? When did you move to town? Where is your favorite place to visit? Why, why is it your favorite? All right, so let's move on to the second one, if yous. So this is pretty cool. If you were a fish, bird, or animal, what would you be and why? So it's really important to you to ask why afterwards because that's where you really find out about the person. If you could do anything, what would you do? Why? If you were a superhero, who would you be and why? Create your own nickname. What would it be? Why? All right, so this one is your faves, right? Your favorite color, your favorite animal, food, musician, you can see them all here. What is your favorite whatever, right? And then why? Why is it your favorite book or TV show or sport? I think I might have skipped one. No, I didn't. All right, this one is um, this or that. Would you rather, basically? Would you rather be a fish or a cow, live in a city or the country, right? Be a musician or, sport or a sports star? So, um, and then they didn't put it on here, but obviously you're going to ask why, why do you want to be a musician or why do you want to drive a electric car when you get older, right? The fifth one is my shoes. So you're going to tell the story of where your shoes have been. Um, maybe when you went on vacation or part of the city or uh, country you went to, uh, the beaches, the mountains, the desert. Um, so just telling where you've been, where your shoes have been, right? Telling the story of something you have, right? And that everyone has. They all, we, everyone here, everybody here at school has shoes, and you can tell where you've been. All right. Number six is a handwritten note, and this is something we're going to do. Um, handwritten notes. I don't know if you've ever gotten a handwritten note from a parent or a, a guardian um, in your lunchbox or in your backpack, but it makes you feel really good. Uh, if we can start handing each other notes that are really, you know, positive notes, um, that's going to really lift 
everyone up. Okay, so on Thursday, I believe, we are doing the, the um, send a note or say hello, send a note, right? So I want you to take just a second and pause the video and do one of our um, icebreakers. It could be the, um, the faves. It could be this or that, right? Just take a second here, pause the video on the screen, and I'll give you just a minute to, um, to do that. All right, hopefully you had a chance to, to do the, um, the uh, icebreaker and you guys enjoyed it. And we're gonna move on just for a little bit. So here is the why, right? We need to know why. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing start with hello, right? Well, the main reason is to create a more connected and inclusive school and community. Friendships, right? You'll inspire others. You'll create lifelong friendships to make a difference. You can make a difference in someone's life and help them feel accepted, included, and valued. You can help stop someone from possibly hurting themselves or others. So these are some statements from other people that prove that Start With Hello works made me feel valued, noticed, I belonged, found my best friend, made me a better person, got my friend help, it saved my friend's life. It's powerful stuff. So these are some things that we're going to be doing as a school. Um, and I wanted to talk with you um, about starting a club. So I'm starting um, Start With Hello Clubs, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> for third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I'd like to meet with them every or every other week, basically. So twice a month during recess. Um, and I know that that's asking a lot, but uh, I'd like to do some of the things that are on this list with that group. And it would just be twice a month. So um, making some posters, um, doing some uh, announcements, videos, other reminders about the just the, the message of Start With Hello. I was also thinking we could do some skits, could do uh, maybe write some songs and record them so that's something that, that I'll be giving you some more information about um, shortly so let's go over this again I want you to repeat after me um, each one of the steps one see someone alone Two, reach out and help and three start with hello So I want to thank you guys for being a part of Start With Hello. Thank you the, to those that are um, ahead of time for being in the club um, and helping uh, with spreading the message of Start With Hello throughout the year. And uh, that's pretty much what I have for you guys. Um, if you want to check out other things having to do with Start With Hello, you can check out um, Start With Hello, hashtag Start With Hello, or hashtag Sandy Hook Promise. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll be getting some more information out to you. All right, talk to you later.